Good evening, Truck and Tractor Pool fans. How is everyone? Adios. Hello. Adios is goodbye. Uh, good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Only Duante. Only Duante. I didn't have Adios. the right Spanish goodbye. word for it. Shit. Wow. <laughs> We're Only bad words. Bad words right on the start. Darn. It's yeah, it must be must be Keystone Nationals time because it's beautiful <laughs> 70 degree weather outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But uh, yes, absolutely. It is it is go time for Keystone Nationals. Normally, I'm not even here at this particular address. I am in Harrisburg. But not this year. But anyway, hopefully I will get there soon. Uh Duante Beast or otherwise known as Dwayne Martin. How's Dwayne this evening? Oh, I'm doing all right. I was uh, I was hammered down rushing, trying to put a new bearing, putting a new bearing in my truck. And when I went to take the axle nut off, obviously I didn't have an inch and a half or inch and three eighth inch and inch and three eighth sockets. Uh, mm -hmm. Had to run to the farm, so it was like through the shower and run, run, run. Should have called me. I'd have thrown you one. I don't know if it had <laughs> made it there. But... <laughs> What a bearing. Oh, socket, yeah. Socket. I wouldn't have had the bearing probably. Three quarter inch, uh, three quarter inch ratchet with a two foot handle. But oh, I got yeah. it, uh, got it all <laughs> done except putting the wheel on. So we need a we need an extra truck since we're uh, taking the truck up to uh, the show. We'll probably park the rig in the back somewhere. We don't know how tight it's gonna get. Uh yeah, a rig. The it's rig, like, that's an eighteen wheeler, huh? Well, a rig is uh, with a forty with a forty foot trailer and a truck. It's <laughs> yeah. what seventy feet long, sixty five feet long. My goodness, people are touchy today. Wow, <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> anyway, well, just, Dwayne's, <clears throat> we're we're, uh, we're going to be reading. Not to cut you off, I'm sorry. We're going no, to uh, be uh, reading the lineups uh, for the Keystone National Show this year. And uh, Dwayne, we got him on board. He's going to take care of the truck classes. And the mini modified or modified mini classes, however you want to say it. So uh, he just got all his line lineups printed out, and he's gung ho ready to go. And look who's back! Look down yonder! Look who's back! <laughs> Club Kendra he's still alive, <laughs> back alive and doing well. And Kendra, yep. we were all wishing you all the best. I know family stuff is tough, so hopefully everything yeah, worked uh, out. My a close family member. So I had a cousin getting married last Saturday and his grandfather. So like the opposite right. grandfather passed away three days before the wedding. So there was a lot to do, you know, weddings at the last minute are hard anyway. And then you throw all of that on top of it. And they were a family trying to do everything themselves. And then, yeah, so then last Wednesday we went down for the viewing and all of that. So it's just been a roller coaster of emotions the past two weeks, all while trying it. to work. <laughs> so. I get it. I've got a couple family members that's one's in the hospital now. We're mm -hmm. hoping for the best for him and everything else is anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at, and I don't want to talk about it. Things is no walk in the park here right now. Uh, yeah, and, and for sure, like, subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up for us. Club Kendra's back, so we should triple our hits, our <laughs> visitors here now. So, <laughs> so uh, we've had really had some pretty good shows here, but uh, tonight would be pretty cool. We're just going to lay back and we're going to read off these lineups and uh, we'll probably start off with Club Kendra. She's had a big break, so we're going to yeah. cut her loose on the... Uh, I actually feel very prepared. I went and pulled up sponsors. I pulled up the live stream stuff. Let's let's just dig right into it. Um, so I do want to point out that if you go to the Keystone National site, uh, the driver lineup page kind of looks a little bit different. They took away, you know, the it looks like a traditional pulling lineup for a pull. And if all goes well. When with this new website, when IT or when IT, when LT, the guy that's in charge of our laser board, whenever he types in the distance for the laser board at the pool, the website will be updated with that distance. 
So this will actually have live results this year on the, on the website. And I think it automatically updates every 60 seconds. Oh, that's so awesome. All goes well. Uh, everybody will be within 60 seconds of knowing what happens at the pool. So that's a pretty exciting, uh, pretty exciting upgrade there uh, for the website. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, oh yeah, I, I saw April on Facebook. Yes. They were heading yep. up bright and early this morning. So, yep. um First class we're going to go over is the, um, let me get back to the right, the 11,000 pound hot farm. Um, and this class will have the top four going to their finals. Um, and again, this we're starting, I guess, on Thursday evening um, at 530 start time. So tomorrow night at 530, these tractors will be going down the track. Uh, Tommy Eppert with the snorting horse will be taking uh, the first hook of the pool. Um, Austin Stoner with Salvaged After Hours will be second, followed by Mark Lawson. Uh, fourth will be Kenny Bauer with Rip and Red. Fifth will be Kendra Henry with the Blue Maverick. Following her will be Jared Stoner with Salvage This Too. Uh, Kenny Sandridge with Old Herman will follow Jared. Donnie Gokenauer with the Working Man Balloons. Uh, he followed or he pilots that tractor all up and down the East Coast all summer long. Uh, Josh Knight will follow Donnie, and then Jared Stevens with Checkmate will round out the class. And then I don't know if this is the polling order. I don't know if that's no, been officially. Not sure. Yeah. But I'm I'm pretty sure the Hot Farm will more than likely be one of the first classes. Yeah. I'm thinking. Oops, I got some serious feedback there from somebody. I didn't okay. Hear that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it is. That's. Usually that's how the website is. It's listed class by class mm -hmm. as in the pulling order, but this one may be different. I don't know. Seven, 800 pound modified flight one, top meaning three. there'll be top three going to the finals. Yes. Top three going to the finals for modified tractors and uh, leading off will be Ricky Blizzard with a barely affordable Ford twin Ford powered machine. Uh, Ian Erker with unstable will be up next after him will be defending champion Casey Wolf with one too many. Uh, Joe Perry with two psychotic. Uh, following him will be a name that's been synonymous with the pool for quite a while now and traveling quite a bit of miles. And that's uh, Mike Shaneman with the Phil and Froggy Extreme. That also is a past uh, championship winning tractor at the event. Uh, Jason Weichel with Untamed. Brian Harnett with the Stubborn Mule and running out the class. Andy Farster with Nonsense. And I believe that is Don Haley's. Mm -hmm. Hot Rod, if it's, I do remember. So Andy Forrester will be doing the driving. Ten Pro Farm, flight one, up to you. Yep. Then we jump into the top. Uh, the So for the Pro Farm class, there is two flights. Uh, They're only taking the top two out of these seven to the finals. Uh, Cody Smith will lead off the class with Hillside Deer. Second place will be Chris Pangle with All Hooked Up. Uh, third hook will be Kendall Weaver, the Virginian, who is the returning Keystone champion. Fourth hook will be Nick Morrison with Toxic. Fifth hook, Shandy Turner with Foolish Fun, who has a fantastic Facebook page. He is always posting pictures and TikToks and all the things of his tractor. Um, sixth hook, Dave Doherty with the Buzzard Bait. And rounding out the top or rounding out the class, seventh hook will be Tim or Ryan Miller with the Amish Ingenuity. And just because of who they are, we are going to give a huge shout out to Grantsville Truck and Trailer for being one of the, what are they level, the title sponsors of the pool. So could not do it without them. <clears throat> big, big money they put into this pool. So Yes, big time. Yes. I believe they're also a track sponsor as well. They have been yeah. in the past, so. And there's a message there for you from Michael Walker, if you'd like to address that for us. Yeah, please. and the answer is no. <laughs> absolutely not. Sorry, those calendars sold out in 2020. <laughs> so they're worth a lot of money by now. Yeah, they're, they're basically like vintage or, you know, whatever that's called. So That's the first time I've seen this person on. So thanks for joining us. Mud Mower Diesel, that's a pretty cool name. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. That's the first time I remember saying that. I could be wrong. But anyway. All right. Dwayne, you're up. 
fire off. Next class is, uh, it looks to me like there's a couple of flights here, but uh, flight one of 6,200 modified four by four trucks. Top four uh, going to the finals. All right, top four. Uh, first up is Eddie Zedrick with Thunderbolt. Second, Dean Hitchcock with Grounds for Divorce. Uh, I guess, JR, you can call out the winner from last year because I don't have that. Uh, third is uh, Graham Young with the Renegade from Versailles, Kentucky. Number four, Chad Lambs from Virginia with the VA Outlaw. Uh, next is uh, number five, Mark Serafin from uh, Massachusetts with one potent rodent. Number six, R.B. Moeller from Harpers Ferry, West Virginia with two, the extreme. Number seven is Alan Matson uh, from Rhode Island with overkill. Uh, number eight is Michael Adair, uh, Fort Play, New York, uh, with a truck called In the Game. Number nine, Doug Aruda from Rhode Island, Tiverton, Rhode Island, mm. with Amateur Night. Uh, number 10, uh, I'm sure is a local truck, Troy Nails with, uh, from Hedgeville, West Virginia, with Killing Time. And, and the defending champion. Oh, awesome. Uh, 11 is Samuel Bell from Newark, Ohio, with R Inheritance. Capital R inheritance. Uh, Twelve is Tony Fratterelli, uh, Fratterelli from Wyeth Withville, with yeah Withville, Virginia. All started here. That rounds out the twelve trucks in that class in Flight One. I guess next will be you read last right on the yep. tractor schedule. Okay, seventy seven hundred light limited turbo tractors. Flight number one coming at you. Top five going to the finals. This Top class five. is huge this year. I bet. Ben Flaherty will start the class off with Smoke and Red, and that is a past multi-championship tractor at the event. And uh, also this year's lawnmower. Uh, every year, yes, that is Doug Deal does a miniature version in a lawnmower fashion, and this year it is Ben Flaherty. Uh, you can buy those raffle tickets at the pool. That's correct. Uh, up next will be Mike Runkle with the old Smokey Oliver. Uh, third, Brad Rossler with Whistling Red. Fourth, Michael Thomas was still in time. Uh, followed by Adam Ritchie with Paps Blue Ribbon. Then Ricky Taverner with the Red Tornado. Then a Mark Smith with a tractor that is no no uh, stranger to winning pools at the Keystone Nationals for sure. Uh, Kevin Grubb with the Lone Ranger. Tabitha Samsell with the Hot Mess Express. Sue Johnson, the defending light limited tractor from last year with the Iron Maiden. And following her would be Dave Simcock with Lucifer. Jason Bowers with a beautiful international. I believe it's uh, it's 10 or 14, 66. I can't remember. Uh, Dayton Custer with Operation Blue. Hopefully we keep all four tires on this year. No, I'm not picking on you, buddy. Wish you better luck than you had last year. Uh, Parent Bean with all about that, Alice. We'll round out the class with Alice Chalmers, D21. Wish them all luck. And then we will be going into, well, we don't know the order, but the final class for the evening will be the 10,000-pound hot stock invitational only. If I recall, they took the top four from Snyder County, uh, Dragon Motorsports, and let me see if I can figure out the last one. Um, was it full pool productions? The top, the top it's, four, it's from, Western Pennsylvania. It's one of the two Western, clubs yeah, out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're going to be taking the top four to the finals. Um, starting out the class will be Dennis boot with the black stripe addiction. And then I don't think any of us will ever forget Thurman Munford with the mechanical bull. Um, the year that his, or the guess the year after his son passed away, swept the weekend. Um, third hook will be Matt Halk with Old Red. Shout out to Matt and all of um, him and DJ joining us very frequently here on the show. John Fourth Hugh. hook, Dustin Reynolds with Pulling Teeth. Uh, fifth hook will be Austin Martin with the Double Take. Sixth hook, Cody, is it Pyrog? P Pyrog with Getting Lucky. Uh, Bob Martin, which was he last year's champion, I think. Dennis Spook. No. Dennis, Dennis did was, win it last year. Yes, he did. Wow, that's Absolutely. terrible of me. I am so sorry, Dennis. You mean you didn't get an autograph out in the pits after he won? 
I, I'm way too busy. Sorry, Dennis. In the, yeah, you know. Dude, the I only got. Thing, I'm I, always in the registration trailer <laughs> then. So they just come up, grab their money, and run away. No, so. you weren't. You were standing right beside me at the stage when our class ran. He accepted his championship. Yes, you couple, were. A couple, yes, couple yes, years ago. That, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I was. I don't think I watched much of the finals. I'm this only year. kidding. Really? Yeah. yeah I've seen them I, all. I was in the trailer. Yeah. I've seen them all. And you know what time I got to go to bed? About four o'clock in the freaking morning. <laughs> Oh no, I I was there with you. I was just out in the back. Uh, you weren't in my bed. <laughs> my well, wife no, watching this show, woman. Yeah. Don't you start that crap? Yeah. Couple couple years ago, uh, they did a meet and greet, and uh, they did cards with greet with meet the polar like yeah. polar cards, mm -hmm. and I got a signed one. So it's going to be worth <laughs> a lot of money in the future. Oh, it, it really yeah. will be. Uh, where were we? One, two, three. Sorry. Eighth hook will be Brad Kramer with the Fence Road Deer. That's the name we talked about a lot last year. Um, did very well with the Snyder County group. Uh, following Brad will be the other John Deer, John Foreman, with It's Always Something. Uh, ninth, tenth hook will be Dave Walter with Red Power Reloaded. Eleventh hook will be Brian McConnell with Milkman's Mojo. And rounding out the class will be Chad Nesselrot with uh, Recap This. And then we go into the mini madness on Friday, 11 a.m. Dewante Beast, the spotlight's on you. This is all you, oh, buddy. The whole two pages of it. I might have to it. stop and take a breath here so that I don't get caught in mouth. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and also, before you start, I will say, yes, Dennis Boop just sent a message in. Their T-shirt trailer will be in the pits. Yes. Selling T-shirts oh, oh. from multiple teams. And the new Snyder County truck and tractor pullers. As well, so be sure to stop by and visit them. Uh, their new schedule uh, was just released, and what's it like twenty events or so? So they they got they got a busy year uh, scheduled. So check it out. Cool. All right, new session is uh, the new session is the Friday afternoon session, which is the mini madness. The first uh, uh, the first class is going to be flight one of the 19, uh, 1900 small block minis. Uh, if the and number one is Steve, uh, is it Naff? Steve Naff from Naff. Steve Naff. Steve Naff. Mm -hmm. All right. Steve Naff from Glen Rock, PA with a saw duster. Uh, number two is going to be Bud Cassale from Carlisle, PA with a thumper. Number three is Robbie O'Donnell from McConnellsburg with a hilltop hot rod. Number four, Zachary Knight from Stanley, Virginia with most hated final chapter. Number five, Joseph Willis from Brandywine, Maryland with a flasher. Number six, Brooke Vander Velden from Abrams, Wisconsin, Adrenaline Addiction 3. Uh, number seven is Garrett Watts from Crownsville, Maryland with a royal mess. Number eight is Jerry Welch from Tunberg, Vermont with a bandit. And number nine, James Maths, a road of Virginia with fortifi fortified. Did you, uh, uh, did you mention, I'm sorry. After Joseph Wills, did you get Justin uh, Freed? I have I Justin have Freed after him for the, with the Rattler. Uh, no, I didn't. Sorry about that. My okay. list has nine vehicles on it. You know what? I might have an old list. <laughs> yeah, I have I ten. Mean, I don't That's think I mentioned flight one of those small blocks will have four going to the finals. All right. Anyway. Um, I um on uh, uh the next class is uh 2050 big block minis flight one. I have uh seven one scratch. Is that what you have, Jr.? Okay, just want to double check. Yep, top two going to the finals. All right. Uh, number one is Scott uh Laventer uh Laventer from East Freetown, Massachusetts, without a control. Number two is Bud Casale from Carlisle with Wild Child. Number three is Stephen O'Brien from Fairhaven, Massachusetts with Goliath. Number four is Milton Westgate from East Freetown, Massachusetts with Mean Streak. Number five is Bill Demar, Charlotte Hall, Maryland with Sleep and Henry. Number six is a scratch. Number seven, Jeff Paulding from Piles Grove, New, New Jersey with a wonky donkey. Honky donkey. Way to go, Jersey. Go get him. And that scratch was uh, Rob Wise with the long shot. Uh, Bruce uh, sent a message to me this evening uh, before the show and said that they would not be able to make it. So, Unfortunately, they are scratch. And uh, they are defending champion. I can't remember. 
I can't remember them either. I don't remember, but he's won multiple championships there. So, I, in fact, yes, long shot was defending champion. I remember sending stuff out to them in the mail. Yep, they are the defending champion and will not be able to make it for sure. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dwayne. Uh, Kendra again, top uh, top four out of each class on the uh, top, top three. Three in this one because it's a smaller number. Okay, I have uh, for flight two. I have ten vehicles. I only have nine. Hmm. I have nine. I'll, I'll tell you which one's a scratch when you say it. How about that? All right. <laughs> Number one, uh, the first, uh, the first mini uh, up for the small block minis is Terry Heffelfinger from Mechanicsburg with a wild one. Number two, John Sutton from Fayetteville, PA, bear with driving bear tracks. Number three, David Kilby from Davidsonville, Maryland, with a paycheck hooker. Number four is Jack Brink from Columbia, New Jersey, driving nailed it. Number five is uh, Wesley Williamson from Newport, PA, with adrenaline. Number six, Joseph Jones, Sanford, North Carolina, driving spinning and grinning. Number seven, Justin Freet from Fayetteville. There's your scratch. Okay, your scratch. So number seven's a scratch. Number eight. <laughs> Trent uh, Vandervelden from Abrams, Wisconsin, with Adrenaline Addiction 2. Number nine, Leroy Durf from Newville, PA, with Wildfire. Ten is, uh, tenth is uh, Anthony Ebner, or ninth. Anthony Ebner, Vineville, New Jersey, Freedom Isn't Free. So that is the third class on the Friday afternoon session. Um. If you've never been to uh, the indoor pool at Keystone, bring your protection. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Um, uh, the fourth class, or the fourth, uh, the fourth class is going to be uh, big block uh, minis flight two. Top three going to the final of this one. And I have eight on the list. Number one is Heather Sutton from Fayetteville, PA, with Polar Bear Express. Number two is Steve Brinkman from Charlotte Hall, Maryland. Still can't get it right. Number three, Gary Butler, Jr., Mechanicsville, Maryland, driving blown dollars and cents. Number four, Mike Gray from St. Mary's, West Virginia, driving uh, Hillbilly Shaker. Number five, Pete Yarrington, Elmer, New Jersey, with a tractor called Copperhead. Number six, John Graham. From Salem, New Jersey, driving sabotage. Number seven, Gary Butler, Mechanicsville, Maryland, driving at uh, Never Satisfied 2.0. Number and the eighth final tractor, Steve McQueen from La Plata, Maryland, driving Sniper. Then the wow. final class um, is the third flight of the small block minis. And that is what, Kendra? Top, top three, four. Top four? Okay. I have 10 in the mm -hmm. list. Um, so that is the fifth playoffs on the Friday afternoon session. Number one is Adam Brown from Biglerville, PA, driving Oliver Express. Number two, Trent Vandervelden from Abrams, Wisconsin, with Adrenaline Addiction 1. Number three, uh, Larry Badden, Brandywine, Maryland, uh, with Bottle Baby. Number four, Jackie Graham from Salem, New Jersey, uh, driving Adjusted Joker. Number five, Charlie Pickering from Pike, New Hampshire with the Outlaw. Number six, Michael Despanet, Harrisonburg, Virginia, dr driving a tractor called Purple Rain. Number seven, uh, James Morris, Dyke, Virginia, driving the Wild Thang. Number eight. Bruce Robinson from Monroeville, New Jersey. Defending champion. Driving straight shooter. Well, good name, straight shooter. Get her down the track. Number nine, Michael Perry Jr. from Rochester, Massachusetts with the Little Reaper. And 10, the final one of the afternoon session, Matt Weisen Weishar from Biglerville, PA with the Dirt Demon. And that is... Come on, Kendra. Friday Come on, Kendra. Afternoon. I'm ready. Kendra, you always corrected me on his last name. So. Oh, Matt I'm sorry. Weischer. I was Matt Weischer. Weischer. Matt Weischer. I didn't. I didn't. I missed that. And the last one, Weischer. Did Weischer. I say it right? Did I say it right, or did I say it wrong? 
So I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> okay, getting into the Friday evening show. Uh, we have the 9,300-pound Super Farm tractors. And uh, we'll start tonight with uh, Shane McFarlane with the Rut and Buck. Uh, up next will be Dan Park with the Saturday Night Hooker. Third, Brad McFarlane with the Untamed. And that Untamed is a past champion at the event. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, we have Tim Puglisi signed up with Dear Friend. Tim as Puglisi far as I passed know, away. Yeah, as far as I away. know, somebody else will be driving okay. the tractor. That's that's fantastic. We have and, not heard anything of a scratch. And we will miss Tim dearly. Tim was a great guy, great puller. Uh, next up, the defending champion, Frank Payne with Pure Luck. Uh, Matt Conrad with Haywire. And following him would be Michael Alston with the American. And that is a past tractor from Pennsylvania. I remember correctly. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Travis Christ with no ex no expectations. And Scott Christ with just for fun as a past event champion as well. So that's a nice little lineup of uh 9300 pound super farm. And how many's going yeah. to the finals? Top three for the super farm will go to the Top finals. Three. Light yep. first stocks up to you. Yep. Uh, we're going to be taking the top five out of one. You missed the class there in between. Not on our lineup. <laughs> <laughs> it's on mine. It just uh, says finals for the big block minis okay. in between after the super farm finals for big block minis. I don't know if that's the actual lineup, but that's what it says. Um, are we going <laughs> to? Oh, yeah. I did miss that. So, Amen, going to Ricky. be 15 light pro stocks there on Friday night. Leading off the class is going to be Kevin Nutt with the Rolling Thunder. Oh, excuse me. Second hook, Jared Morris with Dad's Dream in Blue. Third hook is going to be Mark Smith with the Faster Forward. Fourth hook is going to be Colton Zundell with the Steel City Smoker. Fifth hook, Adam Diaz with the Whiskey Business. Sixth is Chris Mann with the Midnight Farmer. Seventh will be Matt Smoky Smith with Fast Forward. Eighth is going to be Shane Scott with the black and blue. Ninth will be Cody Utt with the storm. Tenth hook all the way from Canada, A eh, will be Matt Dirksen with the Unchained, who had a very strong showing um, down at Louisville a couple weeks ago. Um, second place down there, so congratulations to him. And defending uh, champion. Yes. And then 11th hook will be Justin Martin with his Case IH7220. Uh, 12th will be Jeff Michalacci with Demented. Uh, following Jeff will be Mike Weekland with Just Hooking Up. And rounding out the class will be Chris Camaroni. Um, and the only thing I remember about him last year was he had himself a big old yeah. goose egg. And yes, as of Thursday, his helmet did not fit. But by the grace of God, Friday, he was able to down over his big old goose egg. I forget... He was working on the tractor, I think he said, Wednesday night loading it up, and something came back and got him well, pretty he's, good. He, so. he's, I think he's having bad luck again this year. If I remember right, I caught a quote on Facebook today that the engine is injured and he might not be making it. So oh, that's no. possibly a scratch. Have to look it up on Facebook and double check, but I think he said injured engine today. So if, if you want to look... Sorry to hear that. No. Yeah, not good. And maybe I just, uh, maybe I messed that up, but I think that's what I've seen. We believe you. We trust you. Yeah, today's been a hectic day. Like I said, it's been a little bit hectic for everybody this week. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, almost left, uh, almost left the podcast before we got it started. So we'll try to keep our act together here. <laughs> Um, next class is the 6200 modified 4x4 trucks flight 2. Top four going in the finals for this class as well. First up is Wayne Tapscott, the second with Tasmanian Terror 2. Uh, second is Dennis Grove with the Mountain Mule. Third, Rich Gardner Jr. with Untamed Aggression. Number four, Michelle Abshire with Split Decision. Number five, Jimmy Moritz driving Unleashed. Number six, Wayne Tapscott Sr. with High Anxiety. Number seven, Will Hitchcock with the Home Wrecker. Uh, number eight, Kevin Abshire with Gone AWOL. Number nine, Aaron Smothers 
with Money Hog. Tenth is Greg Hitchcock on with On Shaky Ground. Eleventh uh, is Caitlin or Casey Moeller or Moeller with uh, Moeller Farms Truck. Twelfth uh, is Seth Matson. Matt, uh, Matt, yeah, Matson with uh, Antagonizer. And 13th is Justin Grace uh, with a truck called Just in Time. I think that's all I have on my list. Is that yep. what you guys have? That covers them. All um, right, awesome. Next, next, we're looking at the uh, the uh, dual of the fuels, if you will, the 8,000 super stock tractors. Top I got four the, going to the finals. Four, and I'm telling you what. This is going to be a hard fought top four. Mm -hmm. No gimmies here. I can promise you that. <laughs> uh, leading it off will be Corey or Cole Forrester with the Airborne. That is an alcohol tractor. Uh, running next will be Lance Mysick with the High Hopes. And that is a very good running tractor out of the state of New York. Uh, unique as well as it is a fent. Okay. Uh, hooking third, Tommy Becker with the Patriot. And that tractor is long overdue, a super, super run at this event. So we wish him the best. Uh, next up, Henry Everman with Final Decision. I'm assuming still a diesel. Uh, next will be Bert Standard with the Determination Tractor. He's been there uh, a few times. Kevin Windsor is back with the six-shooter. N one piece under the hood, ready to go. Uh, talked with them uh, at the tech school, and they had fired it, I believe, the evening before said it made noise so they were happy it's running and ready to go wished him all the best uh and of course you know kevin split a block air last year and that tractor sat all season so it's back good to see the defending champion will hook next mr mark bradish mr you know i call him mr i hope him or one of the kids is watching because he's old that's why i call him <laughs> <laughs> the old man is they call him but anyway now nah, love mark to death man mark bradish uh, with the M80 defending champion, back-to-back -back champion. I'll add that, too. That tractor is smoking. Uh, Darren Olden, let me tell you what. Who was this two, close. <laughs> very close two years ago, right, if I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think it was then, two years ago. Yeah. Very close. Spun out in the same tracks darn near. You couldn't tell the difference by yeah. eyeball. It took a laser to make that decision. And uh, Anyway, he'll, he'll be hooking Aftermark with his kryptonite John Deere. Very strong run in John Deere Super. Uh, Tom Ermson with Eyesore, too. And Tom, is uh, I watched him a few times this past season, made some very nice passes with that tractor. So we wish him well, too. Henry Everman with Force Decision. That would be his alcohol tractor. Uh, after him will be Burt Standard with Determination 3. I've never seen the tractor. I, I've heard it's an alcohol tractor. I don't know. So I guess we'll see. And then rounding out the class will be David Everman with Overruled. And with David Everman, I will say, David Everman was the puller that hooked the very first competition hook at the Keystone Nationals in 2008. He was the first man down the track in competition. So good luck, David. And rounding out Friday night at Keystone Nationals will be the 8500 Mod Turbo Class Flight <laughs> 1 Uh 14 tractors making the hook, taking the top four to finals. First hook of the evening will be Joe Miller with the Smoking Joe, who had a dynamite pass last year. Uh, last year's champion, I should know this. I don't, was it him? No, it was Mike Weakland last year. Who won last year? I'll think <laughs> of when I see it. I can't remember. I'm horrible with names in this class. Uh, uh, Joe Miller, hook one. Second hook will be Vern Zerby with Dr. LZ. Third hook will be Jason Forrester with the Papa Smurf. Uh, fourth will be Kayla Graham with Billet awesome. Blue, which I just saw tonight. They got hers fired up for the first time here. Fifth hook, Aaron Eberhardt with the Hammer Down. Sixth hook, John Foreman with It's Something. Debut yes. for this tractor. Very excited to see that. Uh, seventh hook, I believe, Chris Pangle with the blue line. Uh, this was the old blue unit. Uh, so excited to see Chris make his debut run here on a mod turbo. Uh, Ray, oh, 
Well, first, Ray, I do not know if this is the actual class order or not. Um, I would assume this is going to be very close, but I don't know for fact. And John, that is very disappointing. <laughs> I will be expecting to see at least a picture of the new mod turbo. Oh, no. Yeah, John uh, just said in the comments that he unfortunately had to scratch. Anyway, I have uh, I have twelve tractors on that list. On my I think paper. some were added. Okay, good deal. Um, the bandit, the bandit was the defend is the bandit defending champion. Win. Yep. he'll probably be in the next reading for flight yep. two. Okay. Devin um, Riggin. Mm -hmm. uh, ninth or no eighth hook? Well, I guess seventh hook now that John scratched. Uh, will be Darren Olden with Hulk Smash. Uh, following him will be Jason Yankee Malat uh, with Double O Z, which um, has caused quite a lot of <laughs> um, comments on the Snyder County yeah. Facebook page. Um, Don't give away the answer yet. No, somebody already won. Oh, somebody did win. Yeah. Okay. So okay. if anybody was on the Snyder County Facebook page, we'll just go ahead and bring out all the history here. The tractor that was on the Snyder County Facebook page first was Dr. LZ. However, it was supposed to be Vern's A2Z, which he had up until I think 2015 or 2016 is when it made the switch. And the way you can tell the difference, LZ had a black roll cage, A to Z had a red roll cage. Something else you could tell was LZ has the tie bars that say Z unit. Yes. A to Z did not. So there's your hint. There's your inside scoop there on the previous Zerby tractors. And uh, yeah, that's, he's got an update here with uh, Devin Reagan's now a light pro and broke at Louisville. So we're sorry to hear that. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, but I, I think he's back together. I thought I saw that on Facebook. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I, I don't know. I guess we'll we'll all find out this weekend. <laughs> Finish the lineup, well, would you, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> after Todd, after Yankee on double OZ will be Todd Curtis. Uh, following him will be Ray Belak with the Rage and Red. And rounding out the class will be DJ Boop with the High on the Hog. One of those, uh, one of those, uh, Dr. LZ or double OZ Take almost one. put it, <laughs> almost put an engine block in my lap last year. That was Z unit, and oh, she Z is unit. back together, tied oh. together. Um, actually, I I think if I remember my conversation with Vern Wright, it's even the same sheet metal. He got oh, nice. everything to bounce back. So nice. I don't think he was going to be able to reuse the fuel lines and stuff. They look kind of <laughs> tortured. <laughs> Next up, the ten thousand pound pro farm and Saturday morning eleven a.m. show flight number two of the ten thousand pro farm. Top three going to the finals. Top three going to the finals. Lead that off. Long time guys been right there with us from the start of this show, 16, 17 years ago, whenever. Uh, I've been his song with Limestone Binder. And if you paid attention to Facebook, uh, we got to see that uh, initial start up and run, and he's ready for Keystone. So nice. good luck, Ivan. Next up will be Anthony Hamrick with the Beefy. That's a Ford. Uh, third, Chris Pangle. Um, Ford. It is the Ford, okay. Because I know he has an international too. Uh, Wesley Dellinger with the sheer pen. Following him will be Bobby Scheit with the old blue. He's also another worker, been with us quite a few years. Mark Carperson with Stitch, another worker. Just a lot of these people are workers. <laughs> uh, Kendall Weaver with the boss. I believe the boss was the last year's champion, not the Virginian. I, believe I know Kendall right. was driving. Kendall but was now that the I driver. Saw that, I think it was the boss. Yep. Yes. Is the boss rounding, also? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> rounding out the class will be local guy right here, right down the street, Brian Morrison with the shed shaker. I was just going to ask what color the boss was. Is that also a blue tractor blue. in that class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. I was kind of remembering a blue I tractor for some reason. That, I have that pulled up real quick. If you give me one second, I'll let you know. Which one? Well, it was open. Yep, I'll let you know right now. Just give me one second. Three, two, two. Wait, I got it. I got it. I got it. Excuse me. What was that, Kendra? Uh, well, uh, is JR ready? Yes. Sort of. There it is. Kendall Weaver, in fact, was the champion.
no name on a tractor is an 8600. But oh, it looks so like the, the one boss. Yankee drove for many years. Yeah, for Vern. so it's the boss. The boss. Okay. We're showing you next, Wayne. Yep. Okay. Uh, 4,500 small block, four by four. Um, is this the new class with, is this, would this be the same as the new class at East Coast? No. No, okay. this is the Interstate 4,500 yeah. small block class. Okay. Um, JR can attest more to the pro stock four-wheel drive class for east coast but no he, these the, not the same tractors no i didn't I wasn't same all right uh the 4500 small block four by four trucks uh first up is uh denny shivs with alcohol abuse number two is ryan varner shives, shives. shives. okay shives. sorry uh number two is ryan varner with mountain maniac number three austin stoner with analyze this number four Derek dice Driving Mopar Magic 2. Number five, Chris Hulian with a truck called The Stretch. Number six, Jared Stoner driving Silverback. Number seven, Chris Utsi. 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 <laughs> One bad bow tie. Uh, eight, Tyler Shivers. Shives. Shives. Shivers. <laughs> Say that again. Shives. Shives. There's no has, R. <laughs> well, my paper has an R in it. Oh. It's a misspelling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just reading what's on the paper. Tyler Shives driving bootlegger. Number nine, uh, Travis Utsi. <laughs> Stomper. I can't say Let's it right. See. I'm sorry. Let's see. <coughs> the, yeah, okay. Uh, Ten, Denny Stoner making tracks. And 11th is uh, Paul Stillman driving uh, playing games. Yeah, sorry about the hatchet job there, but uh, <laughs> I'm just pronouncing the way it looks. It's a good thing they're a very nice group of guys right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, who was the winner last year? Not in here. I thought it was one of the stoners. Austin, Austin Stoner. Austin, yeah. Austin, okay. Mm -hmm. With Analyze This. And the ironic part of that is last year they all pulled Saturday morning again and then final Saturday night. And all three of their drivers were sick and in the emergency room between Wednesday and Saturday morning. <laughs> With the flu or something. With like a really bad stomach bug. Oh, I think Austin was even dang. there Saturday. He was in the ER Saturday morning, made it back to pool Saturday. And I think he was, so I think Jared won and Austin was second in the prelim. And then they flip-flopped in the finals. So Actually, it started I, terrible for that family and ended pretty good. So. I do remember you reaching out with the frisbee and then doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't touch me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and for all the drivers, we have decided that none of you can throw a frisbee. So this year we're just going with a straight, like baseball looking thing. So <laughs> the the throwing of the frisbees got quite complicated a few years. Uh, they so. They didn't fly straight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we, we learned that it's much harder to throw a Frisbee than we thought. So um, next that's we're why, going. That's uh, why they're truck and tractor pullers and not yeah. sports fans, right? <laughs> I guess this is a sport, yeah. motorsports. But. Uh, so next we're going to be going into the 8500 Mod Turbo. Again, top four going to the finals. Uh, John Lilly with the Extreme Pressure Case going to be, be uh, starting us off. Second, again, Mark Miller, Grantsville Truck and Trailers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being title sponsor, track sponsor. All, all the dollars you are throwing our way to make this event possible. He will be second hook with the Mighty Mouse on Saturday morning. Third hook, Corey Eberhardt with the Gold Edition. Fourth, BJ Wilkins with the Bull Ride. Uh, fifth hook will be Aaron Bradish with the Recycled Red. Um, next, another tractor that has been sitting for way too long, glad to see him back, is going to be Steve Beckley with the Up and Smoke John Deere. Following him will be Nathan Graham with the Blue Reaper. Following Nathan will be Scott Kiscadden <laughs> on the Bleed and Blue. Uh, Rick Houck with a little stinker will be, I think he's 10th hook. 11th hook, another wonderful uh, um, volunteer for the week, has been a long-standing committee member. Guy Gokenauer with the Stress Test 706. Uh, following him will be Vern Zerby with the Z unit that we were just talking about. And rounding out the class will be Austin Martin with the floor sweepings. 
Next flight is, number two for the 7,800 pound modified tractors, and we'll be taking top three. Top three. Once again, Nelson Egolf with a Tinker Toy Mopar powered Mopar. <laughs> Second, uh, Kirsty Robinson with the Phony 2. Uh, um, also a Hemi, if I do remember correctly. Yes. Uh, okay, third, Brian Field with the four play. Fourth will be Don Haley with his newly acquired as of last year track fever. Um, after him will be Rod Harnett with the Agitator. Jamie Curley will be up next with 100 proof. Uh, after him will be uh, Amber Blizzard with the Unaffordable. Lucas Heilman with Night Train. And that rounds out that class. And that Night Train tractor is also the Shanemans. I believe still is the Shanemans. Uh, this is the second year that Lucas Heilman has drove that tractor. And yes, when you see that Heilman name, you think of John Heilman. And guess what? That is a family member of the Holloman family. So good luck, Lucas. Dwayne, it's up to you, buddy. All right. 8,000 limited pro stock 3.0 diesel trucks. These are top all guys. Four. A top four. All right. <laughs> uh, most of these guys are guys that uh, we've pulled with for the last, who knows, eight, ten years. A lot of these, yep. uh, a lot of these guys, uh, uh, we're two six way back when, but uh, first up is Kyle Spickerman with Old Jenny. Oh. Number two, number two is uh, Greg Walker. Greg is going to be driving. Dreams happen. Number three, Billy Mead with the older Jenny. Number four is Tom Bertie with White Trucks Matter 2.0. <laughs> I wonder what color that thing is. Uh, number um, five. I bet it's black. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> they missed a really good opportunity there. Just going to say. Uh, number five, Mr. Chuck Dutter with the common hooker Chevy. Number six, Griffin Sullivan from Connecticut with never satisfied. Number seven, Charlie Recker ain't cheating yet. And I think he the was defending champion. Yes. Two years running, isn't it? Two years running. I do believe you're right. Uh, number eight, Matt Horst with Pushing the Limit. This truck uh, is the truck I'm involved with, and uh, we uh, had to take uh, the poles off and got it out of the shop last night um, and ran it and tried to make sure we didn't have too much smoke coming out of places where it wasn't supposed to come out, and we're uh, ready to go. So we're looking at 150 foot, 160 foot, 100. <laughs> or you're looking, you're looking for the beach, right? Just say I'm looking for. The we're beach. looking. We're looking for the beach, but we've never pulled indoors, and I know it's a different animal. So hopefully, we can make the best out of it. It's going to be a learning curve. I think Matt can handle it. Uh, I'm sure he can. He's uh, ready to go, fired up, ready to go. I'm sure he'll be a little bit nervous, but uh, Matt gets we'll fired up. I don't think I've ever oh, seen Matt fired up. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta hang out with us sometime before we oh, put it in boy. the track. Oh boy. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like to show it. Uh number nine, Mike Burton from New Philadelphia, Ohio with Backwoods Evolution. Ten, Adam Kinkaid from Kentucky with the Hill Brothers truck. Eleven, Jason Heimbach from Middleburg with uh, uh, a white Ford with Cummins. And twelve, Michael Wilson from New York with Fred. Michael's uh, almost Canada. Almost Canada, New York. Good running so, truck. Those are the 12 trucks in the uh, 3.0 Limited Pro diesel trucks. All right. Last class to go over here, the 7,700 Light Limited Turbo Flight number two. Uh, going to be taking the top five to the finals. Um, starting off the class will be Cody Anderson. And I forget what he is calling that. It's an international tractor, all black, sharp looking thing. Mm -hmm. Second place, Pete Kingston with part-time and pieces. Third hook will be Rob LaTourette with the hit and run. Fourth, Chris Lutman with the Hokie Harvester. Fifth, Mike Kalanick with the light em up. Sixth, Stephen LaGrange all the way from Canada, A eh? uh, Makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Seventh, Jason Caudle with the Cicada. Wow. Seventh. There's yeah. two names I haven't heard in a while. Tractor name and the driver. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Jason was at Frederick Fair last year. He just didn't have the tractor name Cicada. He was very, I'm sorry. 
He was at the Frederick Fair when we were there with you guys. That's yes, you're yep. right. That's correct. Right. Seventh hook, Bradley Seal with the mother in law's nightmare. Eighth, Steve Flint with the head case. Uh, tenth hook, Jason Weichel with unleashed. Eleventh hook will be Maxwell Watkins with total chaos. Twelfth uh, hook, Macy Kiskadden. Yes, yes correct. that is Scott Kiskadden's uh, little girl. She's not so little anymore. She makes me feel very old. Uh, she debuted in Florida and ran that tractor like a champ, like it was in her blood. Just that real girl, quick, Macy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had Jason on last week, and he gave us the story how that tractor was acquired back to mm -hmm. the camp here uh, with the trade of 8-Up, the yep. two-wheel drive diesel truck. Chris Baker, yes, that is Olden's old cicada tractor. Uh, okay, and Nicole Morrison, and thank you, Ralph. Appreciate that. Yep. And Nicole, I'm sure you'll be rooting for Shed Shaker, mm -hmm. as that would be your brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Kendra. Finish it out. 14th hook would be... The other Logan Thomas, not the Logan Thomas of the Decision Maker Sleds, uh, with pure adrenaline. <coughs> and Logan rounding Thomas. Out the class, <laughs> yeah, and rounding out the class and the uh, and the pool will be Brittany LaBelle with Wacky Time. So there we go. I will say one. I'm sorry. I will say notes. one thing. I'll say one thing. So Logan, the other Logan Thomas. <laughs> Can ponder. You know what I like about you? And that's all I'm going to say. He'll get a kick out of that. So he'll, trust me, he'll probably send me a message. <laughs> he'll finish it out for me, but I ain't going to say it on here. And and I definitely want to give a, um, a definitely a huge, huge uh, for everybody who cannot be at Harrisburg this weekend. Uh, the pool obviously will be live streamed. You can purchase the live stream on the website. And I'm sure it will also be posted to the Facebook page. However, be very, 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 very careful to not hit any links from anybody who does not look official. It will only be posted by the Keystone Nationals Facebook page. Yes, people may be sharing it, but if somebody is trying to take you to an outside link besides the website, do not hit the link. People are terrible and people will take your money. So. Here's another thing to keep in mind when she says it will be on the Keystone Nationals Facebook page. It will be a main post, yes. not a post in the comments. A post in the comments is going to get you nothing but trouble. It yep. happens all season long. We deal with it at East Coast. You know, yeah, and I, I get really aggravated when my phone blows up. Are you the one doing the live stream? No, you're being mm -hmm. deceived. So keep that in mind. If it is a main post, a main post, not somewhere in the comments. So, because that's how they find it and tag it. Yeah. You say, oh, mm -hmm. come on. I have it. I have problems with it all the time with Beast of the East. We don't live stream any of our events, and there's guys that just slam us. And I, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's a full time job trying to get ready for a pull, and then they want to pull that stuff off on the same day. To be safe. Mm. Absolutely 100% safe. I uh, got it scrolling down below Kendra's Keystone yep. Nationals Pool.com. Go to the website, order it that way. That way, you know you're getting the proper yes. official live stream. Keystone and Nationals Pool.com. Yep. And the cost is $90 for all five sessions. If you want to purchase them separately, uh, tomorrow night, Thursday is $20. Mm -hmm. Friday night, $20. Or no, I'm sorry, Friday Mini Madness is $20. Friday night, $25 at 5.30. Saturday noon, $25. And the finals is $30. 5.30 p.m. will be opening ceremony. 6 p.m. we will start pulling. So again, uh, KeystoneNationalsPool.com slash live stream is where you can get the official live stream. For Keystone Nationals, $90 all weekend long. Not a bad and deal. I'm, that's a hell of a deal. Because yeah. I can promise you there is not a single, that I know of, a single indoor pulling event of this caliber that cheap for a live stream. I'm not, it's not a knock about anybody else. This, this team works hard with, with, uh, with uh, sponsor dollars to keep the cost down for tickets, for live stream, for everything. It's a great group of guys that keep this thing going. And uh, I can say that now because I'm not self-promoting. <laughs> But uh, they, they do a, a fantastic job. And live stream is important because, you know, not everybody can 
take the day off work and go watch a pool. So, yep, they got a lot of work. Going up. I guess Please they are working it. right now. Oh yeah, I'm. Uh, mm, I'd say they're probably having a good steak dinner and a good night's rest because <laughs> it all starts tomorrow. Hard, trust me. Yep, and I also want to give a shout out to the 2024 sponsors. Uh, they are all listed on the website, but I think it's only fair we give them a shout out here as well because they are putting in a ton of money. Uh, so our title sponsors are, again, Grantsville Truck and Trailer, uh, Mark Miller out of uh, Grantsville, Maryland. I almost said Deep Creek. And I was like, well, no, the Grantsville. Close enough. Close yeah, enough. Same, same place. Very close. Yep. Um, as well as returning again, New Holland and Forrester Farm Equipment. Uh, hence why there's so many blue tractors driving around out there. Right. Platinum sponsors this year, Kinsley Construction. They do a lot of work. They have a lot of machinery there for us um, to get all the track prep. Um, and new this year is Linda Lee. Thank you, Linda Lee. Polar Swag Bag sponsor is going to be Excel Sportswear. We like to give um, all the pullers a little goodie bag. Um, when they come to see us at registration. Thank you, Excel Sportswear, for that. The kids' pedal pool, which will be Saturday morning. And let me tell you, there is a lot of kids that like to go pedal pooling. Farm Credit, thank you so much for your help with that. Uh, Smoke Rack sponsor is going to be Atlas Tractor this year. The Best of Show sponsor, uh, GB Fultz Contracting. Um, gold sponsors, Bad Gear, Bull Snot, and Steiner Tractors. Steiner Tractors are the guys that push everybody up the hallway there. Mm -hmm. Silver sponsors this year is Acela Racewear. They have some super, super sharp looking uh, fire uh, fire suits. <clears throat> Ball Machine, Beer Money mm -hmm. Pulling Team, Sen Pico Lubricants, um, Excel, Spot, Excel Sportswear also bought a silver sponsorship. Full Pull Productions, Hex Diesel Tech. Kiter's Farm Machinery, Liquitube, Menser Custom Trailer Manufacturing, Shy Diesel, and Timmins Oil were all silver sponsors. Bronze Level, bear with me, folks. We got a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> Affordable Excavating and Hauling, Ag Leader Technology, Antrim Diesel Service, Big L Tire, Calvin Lenning Coal Company, Cummings and Bricker Inc., Double J Livestock, Double R Farms, Fair Valley Performance, Franklin County Tractor Pullers, Fulton Bank, and Cook. Horse Seeds and Chemicals, Keystone Crop Insurance Services, LLC, Coons and Sons, Lancaster Farming, Leroy's Lawn Service, Markley Auto Service, Metco, Michelin Retread Technologies, Northern Sheen Tractor Pulling Rims, Penn State Express, Pleasant View Barn, Power Pulling Productions, LLC, Pro Puller Tires, River Hill Sawmill, Shippensburg Truck and Tractor Pull Pullers, Wal Walnut Ridge Farms, Western Maryland Pullers, and Woodstock Young Farmers. Whew! Class sponsors. We have four class sponsors that are um, doing good things for each of these four individual um, classes. 7,800 modified. Again, Linda Lee, we thank you so very much. Uh, 8,500 mod turbo, Graham Dairy Supply. 9,300 Super Farm will be fluid damper. And another class sponsor for the 9,300 Super Farm, Apex Turbo. And many of those sponsors are also going to be on Vendor Row. So go check those out if you are at the event. Whew. That was a lot of reading, which is wonderful because <laughs> Keystone yeah. Nationals is not a cheap event. It is not a cheap event. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of good people to help us out. Help yeah. I'm sorry. I'm used to saying help us out. But, you know, help the event along. So, uh, Thank you to each and every one of you. And real quick, I also have a vendor list. Can you tell I have some connections? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Looks like it just came in via text message. <laughs> yeah, so the vendor list. So all of these people will be um, in between, like when you're walking out in the pits, uh, which, by the way, free pits. You do not need a pit pass to come back and look at all the tractors in the building and the, tr and the trucks. Um, Acela Racewear, again, will be there with some of their fire suits, Accurate Ag Drones, Bad Gear, Beth, Bath Fitter and Kitchen Saver, Beer Money Pulling Team, Bull Snot Products, Diesel Life Apparel, Sen Pico Oil, Custom Tire Cutting, Excel Sportswear, Fluid Amper, Forest Far Forester Farm Equipment in New Holland, Full Pool Productions, Grantsville Truck and Trailer, Hillbillies Jerky, stop by and get your jerky needs, JE Fabricating LLC, Liquitube, Never Too Old Farm Toys, Novelties, uh, 
Optitorque Technologies, the Polar's T-shirt trailer. Thank you, Snyder County people. Razor's Edge Cutlery, Shy Diesel, and Sundance Vacations. Oh, so we can all sit there and plan our vacations while we're <laughs> while we're going. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Vacation, I'd love to. <laughs> never heard of her. I just seen Optitorque Technologies at Zimmy's last weekend, so he's been running down in our area. What? Two weekends in a row. Mm -hmm. But they're from uh, central New York, so they don't have too far to go. Nice. I also want to throw out a shout out to Mad Pulling Picks. M-A-D Pulling Picks. Mad Pulling yes. Picks. Adam and Missy Drought are the official photographers for the 2024 Keystone Nationals. I appreciate them stepping up and taking care of that deal. Uh, with one quick notification, I was talking to Adam and it's like, hey, Absolutely. It didn't take long for them to say absolutely. So uh, awesome. they will be on hand shooting some wonderful ph photographs. Uh, Ty is just, uh, life has gotten extremely busy for him. And uh, so we've, we've, we've got the uh, mad pulling picks coming in to cover all the events photography for 2024. So who's going to stand on the stage and do the video? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I believe the live stream guys will have a camera there. Yeah, I'm sure if, that's if who'll be the, there. the last I heard, but that was a couple weeks ago. So who knows what that'll entail? I uh, that was I just a grab. Yeah, I know, I know. I have <laughs> a, I have all the intentions in the world of going there for at least one of the days, maybe two. After today, <laughs> we'll see. I really don't see it happening. Damn it! I, I'm pardon my language. I just. I want to go so bad. I want to be there right now, right now, ready to go, you know, for the weekend. So you can't talk historian Mike into doing it for a night? If, you, I ain't, if you're not holding his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mikey. Nah, he's he has to work. You know, he can't get away until probably Saturday. Yeah, it's, it's just too much. Yeah, I mean, he's got a full uh, job as well, so. I think he made a mistake and forgot to uh, apply for time off ahead of time. That must be the problem. I don't. Well, I got a schedule here for. <laughs> I'm, being, so, I'm being sarcastic again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's. Uh, he'll be plenty busy this summer for me. Because I have a feeling I might yep. be missing events again. So. Yeah, because uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll appreciate having a, a video camera on each side of the track this year, if that works. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I believe that is the that was the plan. I don't know if it still is, but let's sure hope so. Yeah, it's uh, some things are going changing, so it's uh, and changing for the good, mm -hmm. for sure. But well, anyway. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I had a pretty exciting day today. I got home and there was a GoPro hero sitting on the island. Nice. And you I was on like, an island? Yeah, my kitchen island. Oh. And I was like, uh, where did that come from? Well, she went to Goodwill to the bins and you buy by the pound and there was a GoPro hero in the bin so she picked it out and paid whatever it cost per pound so we got it for like 50 or 75 cents jeez <laughs> chris baker <laughs> oh man anyway i'll allude to that uh so phone now call. It, i'm yeah, sorry go ahead, go ahead. ahead. no finish you. finish your thing i was i no, was it's, done it's uh i'm still fielding phone calls for ticket orders <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite a few and I don't mind. I understand. And uh, I've, I've uh, sent a lot of people to Keystone nationals Uh So, so you didn't change your voicemail to uh... no, because a lot of people I've talked to for 17 years, Dwayne, you know, yeah. and it was so cool like... to hear from them again. And oh, well, that's cool. But, but anyway, maybe next year I'll be involved a little heavier. We'll see. We will see. Somebody else has other plans for me right now. So, but uh, it's not the wife. You can't blame the wife. So, um, well, that's hey, right. Life, get life out happens. there. Oh, it does. You know, it does. And, you know, sometimes things take priority. Uh, by all means, 
again, KeystoneNationalSchool.com. Get out there and uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. KeystoneNationalSchool.com. If, if you can't get there, get the live stream. That's where I would order the live stream from, right from the main source. Don't take the chance of getting hijacked or ripped off. So uh, do that. And by all means, if you can take the family and go, go. There's plenty for everything there for everybody to do. Walk up, meet the drivers at their vehicle in the pits, get an autograph, get an autograph card. Some of them have autograph cards. Get a picture of your, ch your child or children on their, you know, sitting in the driver's seat of these vehicles. That's awesome. And these guys and gals 100% are in it. To, to put put your kids in the seat and, and and get a picture get a picture with the pooler I mean that that's what it's about uh, you can get right up close and personal meet these people and they love that stuff man I mean they're everyday people and uh, you make their day when you walk up and stand talk to them ask them questions so I mean don't um, pound I them will, enough but yeah I will say as a warning. Uh, this is not the Keystone Committee. This is the Farm Show Building. They are a cashless building. Mm -hmm. From parking to buying a bottle of water, everything is on a card. So make sure you have a debit card, credit card, Visa gift card, anything with you. It is a cashless location. That a lot of correct. people complain about that. I complain about that. Everything is via credit card there. Yep. So no cash like handled whatsoever. Not even at the food vendors, nothing. Everything is card only. Now I believe there's a machine there that you can put cash in to receive a card. There is, but you pay a fee and okay. you cannot get cash back. You so go. you have to go there with exact dollars or you'll end up. I probably still have a card here somewhere that has like $17 on it because I didn't realize you couldn't like turn it in at the end of the night. No. Once you, once you relinquish the cash <laughs> to that machine, it's gone. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, if you use Keep your card, you can build up your points, your airline yeah, exactly. miles, Get your, your cash back. Cabela's <laughs> points. Uh... Right, right. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, I have, that reminds me. I do have a card here somewhere. I'll see if I can yeah. find that. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, folks. I mean, again, it's not don't don't yell and scream at the Keystone uh, Committee or workers. It's it's not their doing. It's just the way the state of Pennsylvania handles things at the farm show complex. So, all parking, all camping, any of that stuff is handled by the uh, Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex. Uh, you have to locate their number online. Mm -hmm. They're easily accessible online. Uh, call if you need a camping spot there. Uh, I'm not sure what the parking fee is or what it usually is. I don't know. I think it's ten dollars. At least ten dollars. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But again, no cash. I'm yes, it sure. does, Larry. <laughs> I agree. I'm, I'm I'm a cash person too. I'm sorry, <laughs> Frank. Yeah. So. I'm not sure because I'm always inside, but does do they use the overflow parking on Alberton Avenue for this event? Like, do they park off site and get bussed in? I have no idea. I would imagine so because there's always other events happening there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I, I've i never had to park at the overflow. So. Good deal. Okay. Well, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one this year. I there you go. Nicole be... says she believes they do. Mm -hmm. Well, I have stuff to get done here before it gets too late tonight. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. It's the Keystone Nationals weekend starting tomorrow, and uh, by all means. Uh, and another thing, uh, the the uh, live stream they're going to actually have live announcers talking in the live stream mm -hmm. not relying on the facility announcers we're actually going to have two people i believe jason said two people uh, will actually be announcing the live yeah. stream as well so that's going to be pretty cool uh, you'll be able to hear and not have to say what they say you know, whatever yeah. i'm sure they'll do a good job so, I, I know the foresters are especially Corey's involved the big show we call Corey the big show for a reason Many it's got to be up here, not here, not here. It's got to be up here to work. 
So maybe I'll have to bring my headset along and plug it in and listen to live stream while I'm in the show <laughs> at, at the event. Yes. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Especially with the live updates. That's uh, yeah. on the website. You can sit there. If you can't hear what's, what's being read as distances, you can just pull up the website. And like you said, Kendra, the, the, I believe the distances are going to be. I remember Jason saying mm -hmm. something. You'll be able to do yeah. that on your cell phone. Yep. See the distance pulled on the website. So. And as we were reading it, you could see like the blue dots every 60 seconds, like the site's already updating every 60 seconds. Ex ex yeah, I was, I was wondering, I caught on to that and I said, ah, it's updating. That's great. So yeah, it's, been, it's working, ready to go. So I didn't ask them, are they still planning on running the big screen down at the end of the track like they did last year? I think I'm they sure. ran, I think they ran uh, distances on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think at the bottom corner. So the they spectators. Run, Right, so you can see replays. You can see sponsors. Yeah, uh, it's actually been going on two or three, two or three years. Well, probably since the C word started in twenty twenty one. We didn't pull twenty two and twenty three. I know the big screens are down there. So, yeah, I think they had one in the pits last year too. One in the pits, that's correct. Yep. So, with that said, that, please that's, go and that, support the. That's your. Uh, that's 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 the secret. That's the uh, inside secret right there. Is if you don't uh, if you don't want to go inside, you can watch it in the pits for free. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen anymore, Dwayne. That's, that's been good. that's been rectified. Yeah. Okay. Not, not good. <laughs> that was my first thought when I seen it last year. I was like, "Well, this ain't fair." <laughs> but that's all right. Anyway. But anyway. I got to skedaddle out of here, folks. Thanks for joining us uh, next week. Uh, maybe we can lean on Duante and Kendra for a wrap-up from the event. Yep. I know Kendra's busy with work, and it's down to Saturday for you, I do believe. so. Yeah. I, I, okay. If I go up Friday, it will be to stay. It'll be late. I won't make it there start time. But I'm hoping to leave Chambersburg around 5, 5.30 and get up there and I'll have to work Saturday morning in a hotel room, but we're going to do all we can. So, <laughs> absolutely. I'll, I'll see you there. Yep. I'll, I hope to see you all there. So, I got my fingers crossed. We'll see. But uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, next Wednesday, we will definitely be back. Uh, we're going to soon schedule uh, Grovey and Bill Grove, Mike, uh, Mike Ziegler, and uh, hopefully Donnie Landis, too, and Kevin. Uh, we want to get another. No offense, oldies show going here <laughs> from nice. from a great era of tractor pull, truck and tractor pulling from that era. We're going to do a little more trucks this time with Ziegler being involved and stuff. So we definitely want to get that show in here in the next couple of weeks or so. So keep an eye out for that. Definitely next week, I think we should give the show respect and give a nice wrap up from the Keystone Nationals in 2024. So we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, by all means, again, KeystoneNationalSpool.com. Get on there. Get your live stream from there if you cannot get tickets and go. Uh, that's the place to buy your live stream from. Do it from the website, please. That way we don't have to worry about somebody ripping you off. Because we're not they're not responsible for that. Yeah, it's your decision to know who to click on. And of course, if you don't watch this show and you don't really give a you-know-what and you just click on something there and just... Please be aware of what's going on out there all season long. It happens every week. So keep that in mind, please. With that said, I'm done running my yap. I got to get out of here. And you two hang hang loose here real quick. And uh, we'll get uh, we'll go ahead and get on off of here. We appreciate everybody tuning in again. Like, subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up. Now I can do my adios. Adios. Yeah, now you can say yeah, adios. You can do adios. <laughs> right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next. We'll see you next Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll see you at the Keystone Nationals. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> oh my. <laughs>